Hey guys, Jeff here, as always. <laughs> That's what Zuljan says. Anyways, <laughs> so I just dis discovered a little bit of a secret, and that's, that's not a secret, it's actually how it works. In C++, this thing called a vector that I've been using, it's a dynamic array which is very flexible at runtime, so you don't have to know the entire, like these, these areas up here that are static, and they do not change after you declare the size of them at runtime. So it's a vector, um, and later on in the code here, I just decided to test out my new understanding of vectors by creating what's called an iterator, which is a pointer to any object within that vector. And so I created an iterator. You can see how I did it by creating a, a, a vector type iterator. Um, that's the, that's the, um, what do you call it? The way to do it. <laughs> Cube positions, so I set the iterator equal to the beginning of the array. And then what I did was I just randomly chose a spot in the array using the size function. So we're using the iterator, that's new. We're using the begin function, that's new. And we're using the size function, that's new. So the iterator can be incremented with an integer and so it doesn't matter the size of the item inside the vector. Obviously this is a vector 3 of floats which would be uh, probably 12 bytes each but we're just inter iterating through and going through a hundred of them and randomly uh, eliminating the cube from the memory. So you can see they're missing just randomly throughout the uh, through the production here as we go as we go up you can see that there are just random cubes missing as we go up. Am I making you dizzy yet? Are we getting dizzy? See, look, there's random cubes. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to um, do something like specify a specific spot on the cube and then add on another little room and stuff, and that's next. I'm going to put them both, you know, well, you'll see. Stay tuned for the next video.